Hello, hello, it's CEO here. And today I want to expand on my previous video where I used a 360 degree camera mod to show you the parts of Nook's Cranny you aren't supposed to see, if you know what I mean. If you haven't seen that video, an iCard will pop up now and its link will be in the description below. But there are more buildings than just Nook's Cranny that you haven't seen from all angles. And in this video, I'll show you the secrets of every building in New Horizons. So let's get started. First, we'll check out the resident services building. Now this building has a lot going on, so it should be really interesting to see what we can uncover with this 360 degree camera mod. I also have the special ability to warp through items. So we're also gonna explore that feature along with a 360 cam. As you can see, the front of the building is not rendered at all. It's just a black empty void. It gets interesting when we use the warp feature and go onto Nook's desk. Now we can really see what we typically don't see, especially from Nook and Isabel's perspectives. Just being a casual menace in the resident services building. All right, Nook, what are you up to? Let me know your secrets, please. Staring at his computer. He probably does not like me standing over his shoulder. All right, Isabel, what are you up to? She's pouring coffee. Let's move Isabel. Let's push her to the other side of the building and let's see what happens. She doesn't even care. She's just going with it. It's also interesting that she continues doing her coffee pouring motion, even though she's no longer in front of the coffee station. This shows that she's on a cycle of programmed actions, despite where she's standing or sitting. All right, we'll let Isabel do her thing, pouring the coffee in front of the shelves. And now I'm Isabel. Oh, wait, now she's running over to us. What? Oh, so I can sit in her chair, but she thinks I want to talk to her. I would never have expected that. And now Isabel's standing ready for duty. We distracted her from her coffee pouring. Oh, now we can see Nook's laptop. Let's see what Nook is up to on his computer. Plotting to steal our money, I bet. Drinking his coffee like he's doing no harm. Excuse me, Isabel. Gotta go annoy Nook now. Just playing dead on his desk. Just laying all over his stuff. This is a sit-in, Nook. I will not leave until you give me my money back. I know what you did. I know what you did. This is my laptop now. Just staring at me. He's like, what are you doing? This is a lion. He doesn't care. All right, can we go out this door? Nope, this is a fake door. I was wondering if maybe there would be like a broom shaped black void behind it, but there's nothing. I am now Isabel. So Isabel is now Nook. I am now Isabel and Nook is, I don't know what he's doing, but I want to see what happens when Nook gets out of his chair. All right, I'm asking him to come over to the front. So once he's up now, I can go sit in his chair and I bet he'll ask if he can help me again, just like Isabel did before. Yep, I summoned Nook over to his own chair. Very interesting, so weird. I don't understand how this game was programmed. I am now Nook. I have taken over for Tom Nook. You control the laptop, you control the island. All right, we gotta take a picture of what's on his laptop before we leave, just so we have evidence. Gotta look out for ourselves on this island. Let's take a nice group photo before I leave. Look how cute we all are together. Thank you, Tom and Isabel, for putting up with my shenanigans. Now I'm off to see what other secrets I can find on this island. Next, let's check out the Able Sister shop. With the 360 cam, we can now see things on the walls that we never saw before, not from the front facing angle. And again, the front of the store is just a black void. There is nothing there at all. We have the changing room. So if I try to go into it, it spawns me on top, but then I do go into it. You can see I'm in the changing room, but I'm not triggering the clothing purchasing area. I'm just in the little box. This is very interesting because the curtain acts as a block, but with my switch magic, I can get through it. As you can see, I am in there, but the chair is fake. You actually cannot sit on this chair. You just walk through it. It's a fake chair because they don't expect players to be in here. Also, you don't have a reflection in the mirror. It's just a bright light that reflects. You don't actually see your reflection. You can see Sable now from the back and all her little supplies. I do appreciate, you know, all the design much more in the game once I can see it from all angles versus just the front. Now I'm just in her sewing machine. Hello, Sable. Please talk to me. She doesn't want to. Now let's see, is this door? Can I get through this door? Maybe. This is another fake door. I'm wondering if the Able Sister shop will expand. There's never been an Able Sister shop expansion in any Animal Crossing game. So it'd be cool if we had one in this game. Maybe that door is a hint we'll get something in the future. All right, bye Able Sister shop. Thank you for exposing your secrets to us. Next up is the museum tent. Now, because the museum tent also evolves into a building, we will check out the museum building later. But first, let's see what Blathers has in his cute little tent. So it's interesting that the walls and this are not see-through because because in the Able Sister shop and in the resident services building, when you rotated, the side walls were transparent. You can see through them. In the tent, they are opaque. You cannot see through them. We can stand on his desk, cause some problems from Blathers. Be a, a typical Animal Crossing menace. I love when Blathers like just looks up when he sees me like pop up to the top of the tent. He's like, oh, 
this person. What are they doing? Hey, look at that side eye. All these bugs now, the villagers. I wish we had these furniture pieces in the game, like Blather's desk and that hose and that water bucket, that crate, that desk lamp. We don't have any of that. All right, next we have the airport. Oh, Daisy May, what are you doing in the airport? The ABD, what are you doing in the airport? All right, ignore them. Let's see how this looks 360 degree defied. So again, the front, black void, nothing new here. See, the walls on this building are transparent. You can see the outlines of the windows, but you can't see anything else. Oh, and look, we have back here, Wilbur, hello. Wilbur is back behind the desk. That is so weird. I know you could hear technically Wilbur from behind, but he's literally just there. He's just standing there. That is so creepy. We typically can't see him, but here I'm pushing him to the center so we can see him. That is so weird. Why don't they just have him so you could see him? Why put him back there if we can't see him? This whole back area is rendered. This is so odd. I wish you could like go off to the side and get onto the plane, but no. There should be a door that would lead out to the dock to the plane. This is so weird that Wilbur is just standing there. When I talk to him, he says nothing. It's just blank. Also weird. All right, let's push him out more. Maybe I can push him through the gate. Okay, I can't push him through the gate. It's a blockade. Well, what if I say I want visitors? Maybe once the gates are open, I can push him through and just have him in the airport. All right, opening the gate. Moment of truth. Can we push Wilbur out? Nope. There is an invisible barrier that Wilbur cannot pass through. Nintendo puts all their energy into putting Wilbur back there, but yet we can't push him out. You can see behind his desk now, and we can just go behind his desk. All right, Orville, I'm taking over the operations. You can go do whatever whatever dodos do and I will take over from here. Thank you. Oh, we can go inside the card stand. All right, I am now the card stand operator. If you need a card, I will pop out of the box and hand it to you. My creepy face just popping out. I love how weird this looks. I am just now like a box. I love this 360 cam. All right, now let's go into Nook's Cranny. I already made a short video showing Nook's Cranny, but let's look at it again. This little corner is the part that fascinates me the most because there's the stairs. These stairs are fully rendered from the side and the back. If you look from the front, there is a shadow where the stairs disappear into blackness, but from behind, the stairs are clearly all there, looking like we could go up them someday. I am 100% sure this means Nook's Cranny will get future upgrades because again, there's only been one upgrade to Nook's Cranny in this game and in every past Animal Crossing game, there were multiple updates to Nook's Cranny, not just one. Maybe this room, look, 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 at this, look at this cube. The square, I feel like the square means something. Maybe the square represents the next version of Nook's Cranny, especially those stairs. Those stairs are giving me some weird vibes. I also can't sit on this chair. I'm trying to sit on this chair. The game will not let me. Oh my God, little Nook, little baby Nook looking at me up on the ceiling, probably thinking, oh no, we're gonna get in trouble. Don't stand up there, don't stand up there. Please don't stand up there, miss. I like how the light is rendering from the window onto my face, but yet we don't see the outside. We don't see the sun. We don't even see a light ray. It's just like light, just like brighter light all of a sudden. Oh, we can see these signs now. They, I thought they were gibberish, but they do look vaguely Russian. That top one does at least. When Nook's Cranny gets updated, I will definitely do one of these videos for it so we can see all the fun secrets on that. I'm sure a bigger store with more items. I just feel like this game is lacking buildings. I started getting into New Leaf and there are just so many more buildings in that game. The Roost. The Happy Home Academy, Leaf's Shop, Kicks, the Shoe Store, Champoodle, and eventually there's Club LOL and Katrina's little fortune telling building. I don't understand why there's not as many buildings. I get that this is a deserted island, but that doesn't mean there can't be buildings. I, I feel like Nintendo is hanging on to this deserted island storyline a little too much, and it's hurting the game. Why can't this be a, a slightly less deserted island or have like a city island that we can fly to? Like we had City Folk, which had the city, then we had New Leaf, which had the town, which was basically the city folk city, but yet there's no equivalent in New Horizons when it'd be super easy. You could just get on the plane and fly to the city. So I'm going to fly over to another one of my islands to check out some more buildings. And before I go, I wanted to push Wilbur out from his hiding spot to see what would happen when I try to fly somewhere and he's just standing there. All right, I clipped through him. Oh! He's gone. Oh, he's back. Wait, that was so weird. He disappeared and then came back from the left. This game is so weird sometimes. <laughs> All right, so I'm at a different island now and let's check out the resident services tent. You look at the building, but the tent's a whole nother thing. So let's check it out. So in this tent, the walls are transparent. You can see through them, but in the museum tent, they weren't. Oh, wait, this wall is opaque. This wall, you can't see through. 
but yet the other wall you can. This tent is so weird. Why can't you see through one wall and not the other? I'm just really curious from like a developer standpoint why this is how it is. Well, we can stand on the table, we can dance around. Nook is like, why are these hooligans doing this to my tent? Oh, now I'm just in the void. Now I'm in the void, do not go into the void. If you go into the void, it doesn't end well. Nintendo does not leave out any detail, which is something I do appreciate. Like, even on the desk, that DIY balloon sign has a picture on it from the other side. The back of it is fully rendered, which is weird. It's almost as if Nintendo expected us to see them from this angle. A nice attention to detail, Nintendo. All right, let's also check out the first iteration of Nook's Cranny. Ooh, from this angle, we can really see that little nook off to the side where... I think that little nook hints at an expansion, which we do have. We do have an expansion after this version of Nook's Cranny. Look, there's even a little box, just like in the upgraded version. This has to mean something because we have the little void box off to the side, which signifies a larger Nook's Cranny. We have it also in the upgraded version. Again, I 100% think Nook's will get an upgrade. If it doesn't, I will be disappointed, but the game is not fully updated yet. We're still getting more updates. So fingers crossed, I'm pretty optimistic about it. It's so weird to me that that back room isn't just a flat black void like the rest of the building. It actually has like depth to it, which I find very intriguing. I do think it points to future updates. Poor little Nookingtons. They're probably like, what? What is going on? Why are these two disrupting our peaceful shop? All right, so I was going to show off the museum with the 360 cam, but this video is already long enough. So I think I'm going to save that for another video. The museum has the entrance, the fossils, the aquarium, the art gallery, and the bugs. So that's five whole areas and all those areas have multiple rooms themselves. So let's save the museum for another video. It's super interesting. I can't wait to show it off to you. I'd say the museum, especially the bug exhibit, is one of the most interesting places to see in New Horizons with the 360 cam. So definitely like this video if you want to see that video coming up soon. And let me know in the comments what your favorite thing was to see with the 360 cam. My favorite had to be Wilbur just standing in the back, nonchalant, doing nothing, just chilling there when he really had no business being back there. So I'm curious what your favorite part was to see. So let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.